it's a gorgeous sunny day got about 10 to 15 knots of wind from the look of it from the north so it's time to head off it's noon I've got to go and get fuel on the other side of the fjord and then I'll make my way south towards Bergen time has come to start heading south need to average Right about 30 miles a day, something like that, to give myself enough room to have a few breaks on the way. Plan at the moment is to head south from Bergen to Denmark and then from Denmark across to Helgoland and then Holland and then back to the UK, very roughly. About 1500 to 1800 nautical miles, depending on how much weaving around I have to do and how many times I decide to stop but uh, yeah time to get cracking Quite a bit awake. Holy shit. <laughs> Hold on to your britches. Oh my god! <laughs> well, when you put money on it, the forecast is for the wind to be from due north and it's going from due south, right on the nose. <laughs> always the way so we're motoring across it's two and a half miles to the fuel stop get some fuel and then hopefully we'll get a slightly kinder wind from there we'll see but wow a glorious day Well, as you can see, we're sailing. We've got 12 knots of wind from the northwest. Occasionally blows up to 16 with the odd gust. So full sails, full steam ahead. We turn the corner and we'll be running downwind. So should be able to sail the majority of the day, hopefully. Certainly got to sweat up getting the sails up, that's for sure. Warm. Uh, it's a slightly unnerving sight when you see a ship like that turn and head directly at you. He's actually going to go behind me, but my god, he couldn't get much closer. Actually, he's turning away. Maybe you saw me recording him and decided not to come so close. <laughs> That's going to make a wake and a half. That's 
quite some ship. It's got a submarine on it, Luke. And cool. And a rather large powerboat. I wonder if that's actually someone's super yacht with their toys on board. I guess it must be. Submarine, powerboat, ribs, and a helicopter landing pad. That's quite something. So that was the super yacht Game Changer, which was bought in 2018 and refitted as a luxury cruiser for $45 million. She's 73 metres long, has a crew of 18 and up to 12 guests. And a submarine. <laughs> oh, how do the other half live? <laughs> I think I'd rather be sailing personally. Much rather have the wind pushing me along. It's so beautiful. Especially on a day like today. Couldn't ask for more really. So we're gonna go through the gap between the mountains there. Once we get in there, I'm pretty sure the wind is gonna die and it'll be back to motoring. At least until we get out the other side. But we'll see. Fingers crossed. The northwest wind will funnel down there and blow us all the way through. Well, one can hope. Come on. <laughs> Ever the optimist. As expected, the wind had pretty much gone. I was reduced to doing a knot. So I've now got the engine on. Get, uh, I'll get down the fjord here, out the far end. Hopefully the wind will pick up again. And we can carry on sailing. And we're sailing again. And the sun's out again. And about, uh, about two hours to go. Although the wind keeps picking up like this, might be a bit quicker. leaving the mountains behind and entering the low-lying islands on the outside. Going to be tucking into a little bay just around the corner of this island here. Hopefully it's a good anchorage. Looks quite deep, about 20 metres or so. But I'm not expecting anything horrific tonight. I'll be sheltered from everything apart from the southwest, so should be absolutely fine. It's been a beautiful day, a beautiful sail. I've motored for about two hours in total today. The rest of it's all been sailing. Don't worry about the beeping, that's just my collision alarm telling me I'm going to hit them. It's not very accurate. We're just coming up towards the anchorage. It's round the, not this point, but the next one. No idea what it's going to be like. The swell from the ocean is uh, coming in here a little bit. It's not quite as bad now. I'm heading down inside the fjord, but uh, outside it was it was quite big. it in there. 
it's not very big. I'll give it a go and see if I'm happy. It's big enough for one boat. Have a look of it. So I've put about 12 or 13 meters of chain down. As I know it's deep in here. Currently in 20 meters. I'm just going to poke the nose into there and then drop the anchor. Right, let's see if the anchor sets. And if it sets nicely, I think I'll stay. If it doesn't, I'll be moving on. And the anchor is skipping on the bottom. No, we're not staying. Right, okay, there's another anchorage a bit further down we can try. And it's north facing, so hopefully a little bit better for the wind that one. Out here, as soon as you get outside, the wind's coming from the northwest. Inside there, it was due north. Very strange. It looks a little bit more sheltered around here. Oh no. This looks a bit tight as well. That's all right, there's plenty more anchorages along here. I'll give that one a miss as well. There's a spot around the back of these little islands here with all the trees on. Gonna have a quick look at that, see if it's any good. Well, that was a no. I got in there and the wind was coming from the west. You put money on it. On to the next one. Okay, I cheated. I used my get out of jail free card and put myself on the pontoon that I had as my option of last resort. Left early this morning, in the dead quiet, still air of dawn. It's a gorgeous morning. I'm actually quite warm, I'm gonna have to strip off to a t-shirt. It was 12 degrees when I woke up. It uh, doesn't feel like that now. Absolutely gorgeous. Heading south towards Bergen. It's about 35 miles. Not sure if I'll get there today or if I'll stop somewhere on the way. I haven't made my mind up yet. I'll see if I can get some sailing in. Uh, there should be some wind later and I'll be out towards the outside of the islands. just stopped 
and dropped the anchor to have some breakfast. This is one of the anchorages that I picked out for yesterday if I got this far. Wow. <laughs> what can I say? It's absolutely stunning. I just dumped 50 metres of chain. I haven't bothered to set the anchor. There's no wind whatsoever in here and I'm not staying here all day. What a bad place to stop for a bite of breakfast. Right, time to make some miles. Oh, and uh, the breeze is picking up, so the morning's wind is starting to fill in now, mid-morning. So hopefully once I get out of this fjord, towards more open water, we'll be able to sail. Just as I was coming up to this corner, the AIS alarm went off to tell me there was something coming around the corner. Ah, there it is. And the sails are up. We're getting an extra half a knot of speed from four or five knots of wind. Not enough to, uh, to actually sail yet. But once we get around this corner, fingers crossed, it'll pick up. direction. Pinching a little bit close to avoid the rocks at the end of the fjord. Who knows, maybe the wind will veer a little bit before we get there. Absolutely flying! If it stays like this, I'm going to use this wind to get me down to Bergen today instead of doing it in two legs. There are gale warnings in force for Tuesday, so I want to make sure I'm tucked up safely in Bergen before then anyway. An awesome day. 12 knots of wind on the nose. Flying along at 5 to 6 knots and hot. Boy, it's hot. And that's the island of Faye, where we stopped on the way heading north from Bergen. We're, we're wing on wing at the moment. Running dead downwind. The course is pretty much perfect. The wind's dropped to around 10 knots, so we're only doing four, four and a half knots through the water. But wow. At this speed, I won't go to Bergen today. I'm gonna to stop on the way about five hours time or so at the same place we stopped on the way going north from Bergen most likely It's been an absolutely awesome day sailing. 15, 20 knots, running downwind most of the day. Cracking, hot in the sun. Almost at the anchorage now, not far to go, another mile or so. Just got to weave through the islands and channels. 
to get there then I can uh, drop the anchor have a decent night's sleep and get up nice and early to get into Bergen before the bad weather hits tomorrow winds are expected to be up to 30 35 knots so I'll be uh, very glad to be tied up safely in Bergen before that hits Unfortunately, the anchorage was full of kite surfers, and I mean a lot of kite surfers, going very, very fast because there was 20 plus knots of wind. So uh, rather than be responsible for causing a horrible accident, I decided I'd uh, just knuckle down and do the last four hours to Bergen. There's no anchorages along here that will give any protection from the northerly wind, so not a lot of choice, really. I could have gone back to an anchorage further up, back the way I came, but nah. So uh, I should arrive in Bergen about uh, 8 or 9, maybe after 9 p.m. And uh, looks like it's raining over there. You'll also notice that I'm motoring. The, as I'm coming down here, there wasn't enough wind to push me along at a decent speed. So in order to keep up five knots and get to Bergen in a reasonable time, I'm uh, motoring. Oh well. It was raining in Bergen. Nice rain though. Cool summer rain. Oh. Our destination for the night. Looks like an invasion. Louise Marie. And we're here. Bergen, again. <laughs> it was uh, a bit tricky getting alongside the wash from the ferries. Ferries go over there. They run their engines. They put the bow against the key and run their engines. The wash from the ferries was really strong. It was pushing me over, so made it a bit tricky but all good had to practice my reversing skills <laughs> she can be a, a real pain to reverse at times especially when you've got a wash pushing you sideways like that but hey all good alongside very lovely american family have let me moor up alongside them so uh, yeah we're here time to eat and relax Whew. <laughs>